Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Greg, this is Puddle Walkers Outdoors. Oh, crap! Oh, we got a good one too. Oh, oh, another good one. Another good one. Maybe even bigger Stop than that. what you're doing and let him go. Pack up all your things when you're finally done. Call me up, sweet mama. We'll run. Alright, guys, I am out here at Monroe Reservoir, Salt Creek, at the, uh, the Monroe Dam. Uh, we're looking to catch whatever we can. Still winter fishing, guys, but it is 70 degrees in March today. That was beautiful weather. I've got a uh, trout tickler tackle, still head salmon worm on. It's been one of my favorite baits uh, all year uh, so far. This thing has uh, caught fish when nothing else would catch fish. So we're going to drag some of these uh, laydowns and uh, blowdowns that are in this creek, see if we can't find some crappie, some bass, maybe even get lucky enough to see if the wipers or uh, white bass are making a run yet. All right, guys, stay tuned. Two, two pecks, or two fish, I found two fish. Couldn't really say two pecks, I had multiple pecks from one of them. But two stinking fish. All this bank I've already walked and fished. That's all I've had hit. I said, no, this was pretty pounded with people when I got here earlier. Everybody's pretty much gone now. So they've all probably been out here since this morning. I got here late. <laughs> there we go. First crappie of the year. A little bitty booger too. Look at him. Jeez Louise. Huh. Back in there, bud. You're so barely even hit that thing. I bet them other ones were big crappie. Well, guys, I wouldn't call it a bust, but only two bites, one fish. <sighs> crappie fishing was not what I was hoping it was going to be today. So I'm going to bounce over to another spot. See what we can find, guys. All right, guys, I came back over to the new spot we've been fishing. Uh, but this time, I think I'm going to walk around and try a few more holes that are around through here see if we can't find some more fish in here i'm going to start here at the bridge where i was at in my last video and then uh, we're gonna roam around see what we can find all right guys stay tuned i want to get closer to that without getting over there and disturbing it Size of rock bass. Come oh, on, buddy, I'll get that out of you. Look how nice dark one, too. Look how dark he is. It's beautiful. I made a picture of him. There you go, guys. Nice rock bass. Put it back in there. I thought we'd find some here. Awesome. Maybe I can find another one. I knew he was there, though. He already thumped me once. This time I got him. A crappie and a rock bass today. That's all right. Man, it'd be nice if I could get in here and I could fish this for you, but this tree laid out across here makes it a little difficult. Let's see here. Might be able to make this cast. Ah, it's too far over anyways. I want to get over here in this deep stuff. See what's living over here. I'm gonna have to try to get up underneath and then if I'm gonna fish this tree, get out there on that point. Just tuck these branches back for a second.
There we go. And if it went for that tree right there, I'd be fishing that other pocket inside there. Seeing what was inside that, because you never know. You never know what's holding up in these creek holes. Could be a 20 inch smallmouth down there, for all I know. I know there was. There we go. Smallmouth. Nice, beautiful one right there, guys. Small. Maybe 10 inches. Not very big at all. All right, let's let her go. <laughs> Never mind, buddy. He did not want to hang around for a picture. So a rock bass and a smallmouth living in this little bitty hole right here. I guess it's definitely worth uh, crawling underneath all this stuff to get over here. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> wild thought I had a fish jumping over there but little Mr. Otter <laughs> pretty neat it's only the second otter I've ever seen all fishing anyways I figure it's a creek angler I would see more but I do not see very many around my area Got him off the snag. How cool was that? Oh, settle down, dude. He is feisty. Where did I even hook you at? On the top of the tongue. You wanted to taste of her. That was a snag there for a second, guys. And just trying to just trying to get my snag out. No better one. Not too bad. Here we go, guys. Nice little creek smallmouth. Let him back in there. Whew, there he goes. Man, we should get down closer. I can do some underwater releases here. This water's getting pretty clear. I'll try if I catch another one. See if I can't get it somewhere. We'll get some underwater footage going. Get some of the first underwater footage of the year, huh? I can't believe that. Right off that snag, man. He just whopped it. Brought a good fight, too. That was nice. Another good one. Another good one. He might be even bigger than the last one. Yeah, for everybody. Yeah, this might be one of the better ones we've caught in this creek so far. Hold up. There we go. Another one. All right, guys, let's try to do an underwater release with him. I really want to do one. I think I could step down right here and we can get a nice underwater release. Like this no more Most of my life's been waging war Till I found peace I could have swore What she did shook me to the core And I ain't gonna live like that no more Alright guys, that is three smallmouth and a rock bass And a crappie at Lake Monroe I'm gonna keep on hitting it guys We are starting to have a good time Hopefully that underwater shot came out good. That'd be the first one of 2023. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love to give you guys underwater footage. I know it's really cool to be able to see what's going on underneath the water instead of always having to look at this uh, water with the, the glass shine from the sun sparkling all over the place. All right, guys, let's fish this hole a little bit more. See if we can find another one because, I mean, that was like back to back, right? All right, stay tuned. Let me find a nice little pocket here. I don't know if there's anything in it, but... 
we're going to drag a jig through here just in case. Again, doesn't look as deep as I thought. Oh yeah, this hole behind us is it. This is it right there. That looks real good. That's real deep too. I can see fish popping at the top of the water. Bluegill here. to get down on here. Oh. Got on. First one, spotted bass. <laughs> there we go, dropping fins down, dude. You're stabbing me. All right, guys. Nice little bitty spotted bass. He's violent. You a spot? Yeah, he's a spot. All right, let's get his picture and send him on his way. What do you guys think? Underwater shot? Uh, we'll catch another one we will because we got tank right here. Alright, see you later buddy. There he goes. Got him that time. And he was pecking so lightly at it. We got a little, we got a little spin spot mix here you don't have no tongue or nothing this is like a hybrid when they're like this guys look in here got a little bitty old tongue there yeah now he's just a little spot yeah back in there buddy he was tiny tiny i can feel him pecking away at it all right guys i'm going to turn it around right here i haven't caught anything in a while and i really just haven't even seen any water deep enough for wintertime fishing but i tell you what it looks absolutely amazing back here for the summertime springtime john if you're watching this buddy there's your fly fishing waters this is this is pretty wide open it's pretty wide pretty big back in here it's rocky it's not really deep that's the main issue for wintertime fishing but these holes are a good two to three feet some of them had four foot pockets up by trees there just wasn't enough deep water around to hold these fish all right guys we're going to turn it around see if we can't catch anything on the way out of here all right guys stay tuned Right, guys that's a wrap on the episode nothing big today but i had a really good time trout tickler proved to be a great winter lure still as we come up on the end of winter guys the fish are really starting to uh, pull out of these holes or starting to fan out just a little bit nothing major yet but i bet if these temperatures stay the water rises a little bit we're going to really start seeing some pre-spawn activity later towards the end of this month all right guys thanks for watching see you on the next one